Hi there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect with SQL Server Compact Edition from your Visual C Sharp editor. So let's first create a project. Select Windows Forms application. Keep the name default and click on OK. Now let's go for Data Explorer or you can call Data Sources and we are going to create or add a new data source. Clicking on this button will give you data source configuration wizard. Select database, click on next, click on data set again and this will show you the new connection wizard click on it here you will be presented to add a new connection you can select data source as mysql or microsoft sql server compact 3.5 if it registers more than one data source then it will be displayed here you can have access can have compact server or database file. I'm selecting Microsoft SQL Server Compact 3.5. Click on OK. Okay, now you have to give a name to your database. I'm going to give a name called Cells DB. I'm going to create this database. Keep the name as is. I'm not going to assign any password. Collation should be English, United States, or you can have United Kingdom, depending on the English that you use in your country. Click on OK. It will ask you to verify if you don't want password protection. Say yes. Now you're ready to access this database. Click on OK. This will add connection to your database file here and the connection screen. This connection string you can copy it and paste it into a notepad so that later you can use it for connecting the database as this is the source of your database file. CellsDB.stf is that data file. Click next. It will ask you to copy the database file in your project folder. Say yes. Now it will ask me to save the connection string to application configuration file, which is necessary. Save this. And now there are no objects in your database as there are no tables, so nothing to select. So just click on finish. And in the left of your screen, you will find data source has sales DB data set. Whereas in Solution Explorer, you will find the file sales db.stf copied into your project. Let's go back to data source. Okay. Here you can go for configure data source with wizard if you want to make any changes go back to solution explorer here this is the data you're going to click on open and this will open a database explorer on the left side of your IDE here you don't have any tables no replication so you are going to make a new table Now we are going to name a new table as cells item. Now here I am going to name column 1 as item number which will be integer and should be 4, allow null should be no, unique should be yes, primary key yes. Then 
going to have item name which should be where care land hundred allow nulls no unique yes or you can have no if you want to repeat the sold item no primary key then you have item cost you can have it as integer allow nulls no unique no then item quantity should be again integer allow nulls should be no unique no and primary key no now we are going to append this table in our database click on ok this will have a database here here you find properties for it drop table properties schema show table data and properties okay so let's check the table data okay right now we don't have any data so we're gonna add one to name as pencil to cost two quantity three here we have item number two rubber four and six then I have third item notebook three and twelve okay verify SQL and execute SQL so all these are now appended so make sure whenever you add the items run SQL now let's go back to our form go back to the toolbox and I'm going to drop data grid view you can also do sales item as is but it's better to go through data grid view here okay let's give it a data source as cells db set okay you can also add edit columns here make sure to refresh and check within your project solution that you have it updated okay so we have our table here this is our table data and it's here let me just adjust this now let's add a project source here for that let me draw data grid view after that let me point to project data source select database click on next then for data set again click next let me verify the string now I can click on next select tables choose cells atom table is selected and now I can click on finish this will add this table onto my form I can just save it and execute if it shows me the data okay so the data that I have previously saved 
is appearing on this form. So this is how we connect to SQL Server Compact Edition and can get to manipulate your data. In a future tutorial, I will show you how to insert, update and delete these database column and database data. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.